Hello, welcome back to the woods. And in this video, we are gonna pick up from where we left off last time with our saw project. But this is one of those projects that you can do at home. So we've moved back to the shed. I'm gonna show you how to do it here. You can either make yours at home or perhaps you could practice and perfect the skills at home and then take those skills out into the woods and you can build one anytime you like. Now, over the years, I've made quite a few different buck saws, frame saws, different types of saws that I can fit a bow saw blade to. I've made ones like this, which is quite complicated. It's got an actual proper joints fitted to it. <clears throat> it works, I've had it for years. It's not a bad bit of kit. There's this one, uh, the Rainier's type one, where you take your saw blade, you get a single piece of hazel, light a fire, and then bend it. But the one that we're going to make in this video is probably the best one that I've found to date. And it's called the Halton H-Saw. The idea for it and the way to do it, the method, was thought up by a guy called Kelly Halton, who a lot of you will probably know was Morse Kahansky's understudy. It's great. It's very, very simple. It doesn't take long to do. The parts strip down really, really easy so that you can carry them with you. But again, it's one of those things that you can do out in the field. It's quick to do and very, very effective. So as far as materials go for this project, you're gonna want a straight-ish piece of wood. I've used all sorts of wood over the years, uh, from, from hazel to sycamore, I've used bits of spruce. This particular one, I've used a piece of dogwood because it's what I had at hand. You want two pieces that are somewhere between a thumb thick and two finger thick, and they want to be from your elbow to your fingertip long. You want one piece that's about the same length as your saw blade, so in my case about 24 inches long, and that's only going to want to be probably about a thumb thick. You're then going to want another piece, which is about a finger thick, and again, from the tip of your finger to the tip of your elbow. You're also going to want some paracord. You're also going to need some tools, and those are fairly minimal. All you're going to need is your knife, I've just gone for my bog standard or a knife, a lighter, and that's just for melting on your, your paracord. And then you're going to need something for actually harvesting the wood. Well, you could use a saw on your little EDC knife. You could use your folding pruning saw. But what I've used was the actual saw blade itself. Because if I'm in the field, that tends to be what I do. So for the method, it's pretty straightforward stuff. We take our two pieces that are fingertip to elbow in length and two fingers thick. And all we are going to do with those is at one end, I'm working from about halfway up the stick, is you're gonna shave down to create one flat side. Once you've done that, you're going to turn it and you're going to shave down along on the other side. So what you're creating is an angle like so. And you're going to run that for half the length of the stick. And that is going to give us our angle that we're going to fit our cross member onto. With that done, we then take our knife and we just batten from the apex that we've just created. And we batten in probably no more than about a thumb's length with your knife. With that done, then take your saw blade and just tap it into that split you've just made. And you do that two or three times and that's just so that it fits. Now 
Now, still on those two pieces of wood, you're then gonna turn that over. And at the bottom edge that you've just split, about, again, a thumb tip to a thumb knuckle, up, put in a little V cut. Then do another one in the centre, and then do one at the top, again, from the tip of your thumb to the first joint down. And you repeat that process on both of those sticks. So you should now have two pieces that have got a split in either end, have been shaved down half the length of the stick to give you that 90 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree angle <clears throat> with these three notches in the back. It's important with that bottom notch that is by the split that it sits centrally into the split. Now one other thing you can do with your uprights to prevent that split from continuing up the stick is to take a piece of paracord and tie a constrictor knot in place. If you see my video, now what I tend to do with mine, because I want to put the maximum force on there, is I put a little loop in each end of the cord that I can pass the stick through and then I hold the bottom stick in place with my feet I hold the top with my hands and I pull using the strength of my back to really, really apply that tension. That way that stick is not going to split. And you can do that with the uprights. You can, if you want, even do it with the horizontals. Next, we're going to turn our attention to that 24 inch piece. And what we're going to do with that is on one end, we're going to make a, a chisel point. So we're going to shave down on one side, flip it over, shave down on the other side, and we should end up with that, that chisel like point. And you're going to do that on both ends, making sure that both of them sit on the same plane. You don't want one like that and one like that. They both want to be like so. Once those are shaved, what you're then going to do is in the top of that flat edge is you're going to cut a little V that's about 90 degrees. You can see where this going and that's going to fit into your uprights and give you that, that stability. With that done, you're going to take your, your stick that is a finger thick long and elbow to fingertip in length and measure down from one end about a hand span. OK. And you are going to trim round 
and then break that stick off so you've got a piece that's that long. With that done, then use your knife and a baton and just split that stick in two. So with the rest of that stick, you're then going to get a piece that's about the length of your index finger. You're going to split it in half, and in one of those halves, you're then going to split that into quarters. So you've got a quarter of a piece of wood. You're then going to shave that quarter down so that it's round and so that it just fits through the hole on the end of your saw blade. With that done, then batten that piece in two so that you've got a piece for either end of your saw. Now, we're pretty much good to go. The only thing we need to do now is to make our paracord loops for the top. And all we do with that is if you take your paracord, wrap it twice around your hand, and then measure it out with that wrap still in your hand out to your opposite shoulder, that gives you piece of cord that's quite long all you then do is tie a fisherman's knot if you refer back to my knots video in there to make that big continuous loop and you do that with both pieces so you've now got two loops Now, you've done all the work now, all you've got to do is assemble it. Just check you've got all the pieces. So you should have your two uprights, your one horizontal, your two little pegs to hold the saw blade in place, and your two split sticks, which are going to be winders. Now, to put it all together, lay it all out in front of you so that you've got the two uprights in front of you and the splits furthest away from you. What we then do is you put into one end your saw blade into the little split, making sure that the apexes are facing inwards towards the length of the blade. Then place your little peg through the back hole on the saw blade and then just push it into that little V cut that you've put in the back. And repeat that at both ends. With that done, then put your horizontal into place. So just put it into place so that your V notches are positioned against the apexes of the upright. With that done, take your two loops of cord and pass them around the middle V cut on the back of your uprights. So one on one side, one on the other side. Then take one and hook it over the top notch on the opposite side. You then do the same on the other side, making sure that you've laid one loop on top of the other. 
you don't pass it through. Then take your sticks that are that long, the two split ones, put them into the loop, put a few twists on one side and then pass it onto the other side, twist the other side. And that's giving you your tension at the top. And what that's doing is that's pulling the top in. And as it does that, it tensions out your bow saw blade at the bottom. Keep winding until you've got the right amount of tension on there. And here it is, your finished buck saw. Very, very simple to make. It's an item that you can make either at home, as I've done today, or you can make it out of the wood out in the woods. As far as materials go, well, yeah, you can gather this out in the woods as you saw me do, or you could even use something like a broom handle. A broom handle should give you enough wood to be able to build yourself one of these. So it's a project for everyone that can be done pretty much anywhere. It's a really good, really fun, simple stick project that you can do. And I absolutely love these, I think they are brilliant. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then remember, give it the thumbs up. Give this project a go. It's a great project, it's easy to do, and you'll get loads of satisfaction from actually using the saw that you've made. You can also follow me over on Instagram and Facebook, and there are links in the description box down below. You can also follow the link over there to my Patreon page if you are so inclined. You can also go and check out my Etsy shop again. The link is down there. I've just restocked a load of my little uh, Greencraft woven patches and there are other products in the pipeline. Uh, the, the water bags, the water bottle covers, to name a couple. There's also going to be a whole load more of the Minimals survival scarves coming up very, very soon. So keep your eye on the shop. I think that's everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe.